Hello everyone, Phoenix Feather here, and welcome back to another Let's Play Let's Talk where we play some Farming Simulator 17 and talk about whatever topic we come up with. So today's topic is going to be about Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving. You know, I got people that watch across, you know, the world, and mainly Canadians. I have a couple Canadian friends, and, you know, Thanksgiving is a different day to them than what it is for us, I believe. I'm not mistaken. Captain, correct me in the comments. Anyway, so this is about the American tradition of Thanksgiving. And uh, I got to thank my wife, sticking with the Thanksgiving theme, um, for this one, for helping me come up with the idea because I was at a loss. She was even at a loss, and somehow we put our brains together and came up with Thanksgiving. Uh, since it is the last Friday before Thanksgiving, I, I want to I want to get tea because you know next week would be way too late. But anyway, let's get right into it. First off, sweatpants. If you are hosting a Thanksgiving dinner at your home, or you know you're just having a a small Thanksgiving meal for your immediate family, it is perfectly 100% okay that you wear sweatpants. You tell them Phoenix said so. You do. Tell them. Just tell them. They don't know. Tell them to like and subscribe. Um. So, yeah, your house, your rules. We tell our kids that. We should tell our guests that too. Just be like, you know what? My house. I'm about to stuff my gut full of turkey. I'm wearing sweatpants. I wish I could enjoy that luxury because I gotta go to my dad's, which means I have to dress somewhat nicely because there'll be other family members present. So I have to dress somewhat nicely, which means I can't go rocking my, my sweatpants. But hey, if you are at home on Thanksgiving Day, bust out your best pair. Make sure there's no skid marks in the back and no holes in the crotch. Make sure they're actually, you know, decent sweatpants. You don't want to be flashing grandma at Christmas dinner, okay? You know, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. You don't want to be think you know, you don't want her to see that, you know, and you don't want to be walking around and with you know your skids in the back. So, hear me out. Get bust out your best pair. Make sure they're clean. Slap them bad boys on. Stuff your gut. I'm being dead serious. 100. Do it. You deserve it. You, you truly do. The next tip. Football. Enjoy football. Now, I don't mean sit on your butt and watch these stupid games they have on Thanksgiving Day. I mean, come on. Vikings and Lions, Redskins and Cowboys, and Steelers and Colts. Who cares about any of those teams? Literally. Especially the Cowboys. Who actually likes the Cowboys? If you're a fan of the Cowboys, you're a fan of the Cowboys for the cheerleaders. And you go... A lot of people were like, no, we're a fan of the team. Yeah, but this year when they're doing good, you weren't for the past, you know, 20. When they sucked. Just saying. So, so go, when I say enjoy, enjoy football, go out and play a game of football. You know, especially if you have kids. And tell them, when you're cleaning up their freaking mess, tell them to get their butts outside and play football. That's one thing I miss about football or about Thanksgiving when I was younger. I miss going out and brutally beating all my cousins into the ground as I run over top of them to score a touchdown. Childhood was so awesome. Anyway, get them outside. Get outside with your kids. Throw the football around. Have a good time. Don't sit and watch these stupid games that we are forced to sit and watch. Point number three. Or excuse me, tip number three. Eat a ton. Thanksgiving is the one day in the year that you can stuff your gut so full you feel like you're going to explode and nobody judges you. It's the beauty of Thanksgiving. You can eat like you have, you, you can eat what you eat for the rest of the year in that one day and nobody judges you. Eat it and enjoy it because guess what? Any other day, you or a fatty. Not on Thanksgiving. As as our day to eat how much we want or whatever we want. I'm eating a whole turkey. Tip number four, take leftovers. Now see, everybody's like, yeah, leftovers. Uh no, me. I'm thinking, you know, smartly. You got good food. Because 90% of the time, the people who cook the food, 
are good cooks. You know, me didn't have that luxury yet again when I was growing up. Now I do. Okay, the people who cook Thanksgiving dinner are amazing cooks. Take leftovers, because guess what? You'll have that amazing cooking for about a week afterwards. True story. And you don't have to do it. You can enjoy the other person's amazing cooking for a week. Microwave it. It's so good. It's so good. It, it, I don't know. I can't wait. Now, if you're if you're putting turkey in the oven, you probably don't want to take turkey leftovers because turkey leftovers from the oven is about the driest thing next to a randy steak or a piece of leather to chew on. Now, if you fry it, there you go. That's that's some good eating. Anyway. Tip number five, don't be the first one to leave, but definitely don't be the last one to leave, okay? So, you don't want to be the first one. You want to be the butthole that leaves, you know, the family get together first. You don't want to be that butthole. You don't want to be like, ah, I'm full of peace, guys. But you don't want to be the last. Because then, you are stuck cleaning up whatever everybody else didn't want to clean up. True story. So don't be the last. You know, sneak out. Sneak out about the, the third people, you know, the third group that leaves. Sneak out them. Trust me. It works. It works a lot. Because if you stay there, guess what? You're expected to clean up whatever is left. Mm -mm. Save that for the sucker that is stuck last. Trust me on that one. That, that one will save you so much time. Tip number, number six. Be thankful for your annoying cousins that live far away. This is something you should be thankful every Thanksgiving because guess what? It's one of the day of the year that you have to see them but you don't have to see them every day. I have, I, there, there's a method to my madness, okay? You don't have to see these, you know, they can annoy the crap out of you on Thanksgiving but guess what? You get to smile because you don't have to deal with them every day. Be thankful for that. Tip number seven. This is something that even my wife gets into. You know, taking your family photos. It's one time, one time of the year, and so for most families, it's the only time of the year because Christmas is spent at at home. You know, with the kid. You know, especially there's a lot of kids involved. Um, the only other really get together we had growing up was Easter. So it's it's one day in the year. The family gets together. Most families. It's the only family, you know, the only day that people get together. And a lot of people like to take photos. My plea is to everyone who takes photos, take those photos before dinner. Because after dinner, y'all look like overstuffed zombies that just walked into a herd of people. Don't do it. Save, save yourself the embarrassment. Take the pictures before dinner, okay? Now that that's over, sorry guys, I, I wanted to add some uh, some lighthearted fun to the video. Uh, was, I'm not being serious with any of those. Um, the, the, well, a couple of sweatpants, definitely. Football, definitely. The other ones, just lighthearted fun. But, um, yeah, Thanksgiving is a time, you know, to get together and be thankful for what you've, you've had all year. For me... Luckily, my birthday falls around or on Thanksgiving every year, so I I'm thankful for another year of life, another another year of of breathing oxygen into my lungs, blood flowing through my veins, all that good stuff. I have so much to be thankful for, uh, and I have you know it's, I can you know <laughs> the list goes on and on. My wife, my kids, uh, my dad, um, my my stepmother, you know, I got so much to be thankful for. I got a lot of people, you know, a lot of things that I can definitely gripe over, but it's not that time. It's time to be thankful for what you have. I have uh, amazing friends, Tuff and, and all those, the, the whole Outcast, Posse, Sonic Fan, Tyler, all of them. I have amazing, amazing, amazing subscribers. You guys are awesome as well. I, that's one thing I will be thankful for on Thanksgiving is my amazing subscribers you guys are awesome so much so much again there are buttheads but the uh the great ones outweigh the, those buttheads so thank you guys so much 
what you my my main tip that I want you guys to hear and listen to is be thankful for what you have. Don't and so many people get caught up in what they don't have. Thanksgiving, put all that out of your mind. Be thankful for what you do have. What's it right in front of you? What you what you wake up every morning to? You know, really be uh, a friend that you care deeply for a girlfriend a wife a boyfriend a husband um, your kids if you have kids you know your family in general be thankful you got what you got because some people do not have that there will be and unfortunately I, I probably know a couple of people that will be spending Thanksgiving Day alone whether uh, you know the family there's family issues going on um, you know, families passed away, uh, you know, people divorced and their kids are, you know, unfortunately kids can't be with them on Thanksgiving because they're spending another holiday with them. And, you know, it, it is what it is. And, and you know, it's, it, it, it's a sad day for a lot of people. So be thankful for, you know, even if you have, you know, have those annoying cousins like I talked about, be thankful because you've got cousins to spend the day with. So, you know, I hope I hope you guys get you know really understand what it's not all about just stuffing your gut and and um, and you know sitting on the couch watching football. That's not what Thanksgiving is about. Thanksgiving is about um, appreciating what you do have and. It should be every day of the year. You should be. I know mo- 99% of my days throughout the year are Thanksgiving days because I o- I'm always thankful what I have around me. Um, and uh, you know you should be thankful every day. And a lot of times people forget about that because there's so much that they that more that they want out of life. They never take the time to look at what they actually have. So, and also, this Thanksgiving, um, be sure to remember those who can't be at home with their families. They're overseas um, serving our great nation. That's our military. Uh, be thankful for them, you know. And those that are, are you know, you're out and about um, on Thursday, you know, really have to make that last minute pit stop, pick something up for Thanksgiving dinner. Or, unfortunately, if you're heading out for, you know, Black Friday deals on Thursday uh, and you run into a military person, thank them. I mean, it is Thanksgiving. Thank them for their service. Because um, you never know, you know. They might not be home with their families. They may be stationed you know, uh, you know, across the country. You never know. You just never know. So be sure to thank them. Be sure to thank Whoever's cooking your Thanksgiving dinner, be sure to thank them for being an awesome cook. Uh, be sure to thank your parents for putting you on this earth. Be sure to thank your friends. Be sure to thank you know your wife, your kids. Even if your kids are a pain in the butt, be thankful because guess what? At one time or another or in, in the near future, they will make you proud of something that makes you forget how bad they've been for the past two weeks. So with that being said, that's going to do it for today, guys. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more Let's Plays, Let's Talks, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and happy Thanksgiving.